Hello, YouTube. Hello, people. Hello, dear friends. All the fanatics for political cable. So, guys, and voila. I have finished the installation of the new upgraded battery by Sleek Revolution, which is 30 watt. More powerful than the original one. Let's take a look. This video is good for both the Sleek Revolution owners and also for all people out there who would like to be your, build your own board and are looking for a battery. This is the battery I'm talking about. There's quite a change in this battery. The cells are now upgraded to a uh, 25 hours something for 250 pounds very good battery if you want to hear more about the battery check out the video on the link below the full review is on it so what the plan for today I'm going to pair up the new slick revolution remote with the old chip in this board and test two things a full battery mileage and also the remote to see if there are any issues with this remote while using the original chip. I did cover this subject already in my previous videos so guys check it out. Yes you can use the new remote with the old chip. So in order to do so you turn the remote on, you then scroll through the menu and get to the pairing mode. You flick the wheel forward, the remote is pairing, and you will turn the board on. As soon as you see completed, your board is now paired. You will not have all the features, we can still enjoy the new shape and also the dead man's trigger. So guys the remote is on and the battery, the new battery, the new upgraded battery is fully charged. All the green lights are on. Start with the test. I just turned the uh, app on and we're going to start rolling. I got my full protection on. Just wanted to mention that it's a very nice uh, torque of the motors on this battery. Very smooth performance of the battery uh, so far. She's brand new, so I don't know, things might change with age, but everything does. Dual motors, 2400 watt. Cruising along at 17 to 18 mile an hour. Very nice. Two miles, guys. Two miles. Guys, be very careful when you are on the road. Always have both of your eyes open. Thank you. To make the test fair, let's try it properly on all sorts of conditions. And this right now is not a normal condition, but I'm coping quite fine up the hill and not a nice surface at all by the way the wheels are the AVEC 107s so guys we are at three miles distance cruising at speeds of 18 17 mile an hour with the new remote and old chip so far so 
feel good. I'll check in with you at five miles. Cool little thing there. Proper test Go on the sidewalk, uphill, downhill, and on a normal road. This carbon deck really makes a difference. Very smooth. The motor sounds fantastic. Very sexy. Braking is quite nice actually guys. Yeah, very good. Guys, we're pretty much at five and a half miles uh, distance and we're still cruising at speeds of about 17 miles an hour uh, with a top speed of 20 miles an hour. And to be honest, I do not feel any sag, the battery sag at all. So yeah, so far so good, five and a half miles. So guys, I'm at, I am at 7.3 miles now. And the battery and the board is performing absolutely great. Slight battery sag, but nowhere near to how it used to be. So, wherever you guys are slick revolution down with this battery, it did definitely work. Nine miles, guys. Nine miles. So, guys, over nine miles uh, distance, and I'm still cruising at the speeds of 16, 17 miles an hour. I'm a bit cautious about the cars, but you can see, eight of mile an hour, straight road, 19. And that's after doing 9.2 miles distance on single charge that is really good there we go guys 999 bang 10 miles 10 miles distance on a single charge we're still cruising so guys, 10 and a half miles, and look what I'm doing. Going up a slight hill, still doing 14 mile an hour. Single charge, 10 and a half miles. That is unbelievable. I'm 17 and a half stone, and I'm still doing 18 miles an hour after 10 and a half miles distance. 20. Guys, it's over 11 miles on the clock. I just really want to check what is the setting on my battery uh, tester at the moment because I cannot believe this. I really cannot believe this. So let's check it out. One. Damn, that is so good. Guys, because we're coming up to the end of the battery, what I'm doing is I'm recording every half a mile. So at the moment, we are at 11.6 miles on a full charge and guess what the board is still going so what i want to try if the board will be able to take me from standstill on the level ground so here we go after doing almost 12 miles on a single charge
can't believe this guys I really cannot believe this 11.6 miles fair enough she's very tired and weak at the moment but look what I'm doing level ground I am 17 and a half stone wind is against me right now and I'm still doing 12 miles an hour <laughs> slick revolution you have nailed this oh oh it can't be i'm away from the house oh now she is dead so guys 11.73 miles distance 20 mile an hour uh, is the uh top speed and the average of 14 miles an hour so guys let's check how the battery is doing now and it should be showing red and it still got a little green light but so guys after doing almost 12 miles on this board i'm going to be walking it but let's check out if slick revolution thought about this and left a bit of juice for the brakes so the board does not go forward anymore she's dead now let's try if she will break and she breaks and she breaks very nice touch guys safety wise absolutely brilliant if you are speeding down the road she will stop that is brilliant guys very good Robert well done on this one thumbs up the one thing I really like about these batteries the 18 uh, 650s is that if you give them a bit of rest you can still go for a little bit longer this is the same battery after two minute rest and we got another 30 seconds of it well at least i didn't have to walk this far 